Okay, so I got a little bit. You got a little bit. All right, so I'm just now getting getting them set up. So I got a little bit. Okay. You're feeling something you can't explain. You feel the blood is pumping faster in your veins. What is up, everybody? Welcome to The Hill, presented by the National Rock Racing Association. My name is Nick, uh, and this is my little project that I've been doing for the last few years. Uh, I cover all things rock racing, man. If it has to do with uh, a rock bouncer or, or even an ultra four car as of late, uh, then I love it. Uh, it is my passion. Um, and for those of y'all that maybe haven't watched yet before, uh, um, I, was, uh, I was in the Army before this. I got out, didn't really have a whole lot of direction. Uh, met up with some other media guys, uh, uh, partners in this show, D-Pad Photography was one of them, and uh, started going to races and, and just caught the bug, man. And, uh, um, you know, I, I really have... I uh, really had no idea that I was going to turn it into a full-time thing, but uh, I couldn't be happier, and uh, I, I thank God every single day for the blessings that he's bestowed on me uh, in, in being able to, to go to these races and uh, be a part of these drivers' lives and, and uh, help the sport to grow. 
If it looks a little different, uh, yes, my, uh, for one, it's getting darker earlier now. Uh, so, um, but I have moved my office around a little bit and uh, just hoping to uh, maybe give you guys something more to look at other than my ugly mug. Uh, listen, the season is coming to an end. There are going to be a few uh, races that, that will go down, but as far as the major rock bouncing uh, and uh, endurance style racing like ultra four uh, as far as their those go uh, we're wrapped up man 2022 is a wrap it was a crazy year <laughs> uh, i didn't go live a lot this year uh, only because i was on the road a lot and uh, for those of y'all that don't know i i did start my own production company uh this year 2023 um, Bailey, go lay down, man. Go lay down. Go lay down. Um, Bailey's in here hanging out with me. Um, uh, so I started Seven Five Media this year, and uh, it has blown up, y'all. I, I am so busy. I was on the road for twenty four weeks this year, may, maybe more. I, I think I missed a couple in there, but. Um, you know, uh, it, it's been an epic week, uh, year. It's been an epic year. It was a crazy week. Last week, uh, I spent almost a full week with Justin Wills filming uh, the Highway to the Hill series. Um, and then we spent four days at Disney, Oklahoma for the National Rock Racing Association finals. And it was also... Uh, uh, well, that event was part of the Legends of the Fall uh, event that was taking place at Disney Oklahoma and at Mid-America Outdoors. Um, I was there to film uh, the rock bouncing and I also filmed some of the short course stuff as well. So uh, with all that said, hopefully that kind of catches you up. Uh, again, I apologize. I I set a, uh, a very high standard for myself in the very beginning. I was going live a lot, and uh, I did not. I was not able to do that this year. I, I owe an apology, to, uh, you know, to my um, partners, my sponsors for sure. I, I definitely uh, sh should have gone live more. Um, but golly, <laughs> I, I definitely had my face out there. That's for darn sure, and I. I uh, uh, made sure to post regularly. It just wasn't this here, and, and and this is what started it all. Everybody, the 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 live show, the on the hill show, man, uh, started a couple of years ago because of the dang pandemic, um, and uh, it was just to watch rock bouncing and talk with rock bouncer drivers uh, and hang out with my buddies because we couldn't go we couldn't go to the races, and this is this is what it's turned into, and I, I'm so proud of it, uh, and I'm I'm proud to be. Um, you know, able to have guests on my show like I do tonight and to be able to uh, make the announcements that we're going to get to announce tonight. So without further ado, man, I can't keep it any longer. Uh, let's bring them on. Mr. DC Thompson in the house. We got the you got the buggy in the background. I'm going to turn this music off, dude. I won't be able to hear you real good. OK, that's better. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm real good. You, you've you had a busy couple of days, and uh, I definitely want to be able to show everybody uh, kind of what we're talking about. Should we play? Should we play the video for him real quick? All right. Stand by. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this video playing here because I really want to see this. I'm I'm in a new area, so everything's all different and feels different here. But this ain't the video that I want to play. This is a video. It says there's no 
audio. I, I know that there was audio, but can y'all see that in the background? All y'all watching right now, you see that? And you see that man that's right next to him? I know, I know you can't see right now, DC, but that man right there. That right there is yep. Mr. Ryan Boyd, y'all. And yep. uh, what they've got on the trailer back there is going to mean some big changes come for you next year, no? Yeah, I got a lot to learn. Uh, I, yeah, you got a lot of work to do, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Let's talk about it, man. Uh, so you got Ryan Boyd, who is huge in the sport. He is a, uh, you know, he's raced for a long time. I, I dare say since damn near the, almost the beginning, is it, would you say? He, he said he got into it in 2018. That's when he bought uh, Timmy's Boogie. Okay. Ah. What, what, what was that buggy called? I, I don't forget. Yeah. Uh, yeah, underrated. Un underrated. That's right. Underrated. Yeah. So he bought that in 2018 and uh, raced it for a few years and ended up building a new new rig and raced it five races and said he was tired of the, the work, and having to work all day, work on a buggy all night, blah blah blah, and kind of asked me if I wanted to run it. And, put my labor into it so we went and picked it up today heck yeah so let's uh I, i'm a tech nerd I, I'm, I'm a tech sheet guy so let's talk about tech sheet stuff let's go right through uh the the drivetrain just more specifically what it is and so on um you had talked about underrated and i think that he used some of the drivetrain from underrated is that correct they use the, the axle housing okay Okay. But he, we, he, got, he got them big, uh, big knuckles put on and everything, and uh, big two-inch overs and axles, I think it is. Uh, like I said, I got a lot to learn. Yeah. What's the draw? What's the motor in it? It's a 598 big block, 1180 horsepower. Yeah. Okay. It's like a spring. <laughs> All right, so what what would you say that headache is behind you there? Two hundred twenty horsepower. Okay. To the wheel. To the wheel. Okay, so I mean, arguably, that eleven hundred horsepower is not to the wheel, right? Yeah. So, so, but still, you're talking. It's probably cranking eight. I'm sure. No. Oh, I, I'm sure. So, uh, that's what tripling your horsepower that you're used to. Yeah. Okay. The way I look at it, though, it's not, if I can drive it like a razor buggy, then it won't break. Right. You know. Right. Right. Exactly. And and you know, I've heard Timmy say it before. Uh, it's just he's like it feels like a big razor. It's just an overgrown razor. Would you? Yep. Yeah. Would you say? I mean, you've driven rock bouncers before. Uh, yes, but everyone that I've ever driven did not steer. They were so slow in the steering that, uh, I mean, it was pointless to even try to be competitive or try to run fast because you're going to hit something. Which interesting. I interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you, you were running, you ran Go Force Buggy a couple of times, right? No, once. Okay. One I thought, race. I thought you ran it at uh, Windrock once. Yeah, One. Tore, it up, tore it up at Windrock. Okay. And you didn't but run no, that's it. The only time I, that's okay. the only time I run it. I tore it up. He never let me drive it again. <laughs> I mean, that was an LSX 454. That was no joke either. That was a that's a bad buggy right there too. Um, but you're yeah, talking it about. Just not, it just didn't steer. Okay. Uh, now you're going into a reject fab buggy, which reject fab buggies have been on the podium a lot recently wade good is a good example of that uh your buggy is what newer or older than wade's or about the same age it was uh one right after wade's the same okay. geometry same, same chassis pretty much yep pretty much just more motor 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe. I don't know. I don't know what weight you got, but I'm, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, well, uh, Ryan said he's got some ponies, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Wade was n- nothing to shake a stick at. I mean, it, uh, it's still a a, a decent uh, built motor for sure, but yeah, it's, it's about Hickman Motorsports built stuff. You know, I yeah, worry about it. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you say you got a lot to learn, you got a lot to do. Uh, I know that Ryan's going to have some work done to the buggy. Uh, then you're going to get it and you're going to have some work done. You're going to get some work done to it or do the work yourself. Um, we have, we're just not a week into the off season, but, uh, we're the national rock racing association is starting to release some dates for everybody, uh, at home. Definitely, uh, get on over to their website and check it out. I released a video this morning. We are, uh, opening the season at wind rock. So, uh, very, very excited. No yeah. Texas. Hey, no Texas. No Texas. Damn. Yes. Yeah. 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 DC's DC's reaction uh, to that was pretty much the reaction of of everybody this year. Um, Bridgeport is an awesome place to race, uh, cool little town, but it is a haul, <laughs> and uh, the majority of the Rock Bouncer drivers, uh, for those of y'all that that may not know, just tuning in for the first time, a majority of the Rock Racers, uh, the Rock Bouncer drivers, are down in the southeast. So when you start talking about Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, you're talking some of these guys are driving 12. Uh, when I went with Justin Wills, Justin's pulling all the way from North Carolina. That was an 18 hour drive. So, uh, so DC's reaction uh, is not because they dislike the hills or the parks or anything. It's, it's fun to race there, but um, it, it's a haul. Uh, I understand. Well, I, I feel I, I am down south, you know, in Mississippi, but I feel like I'm. Um, pretty close to everything for the most part you know most everything in kentucky is six seven hours and then mid america is six hours uh hot springs is three hot fries two dyersburg's one and a half so it's it works out yeah that's awesome um i think that we're actually racing twice at wind rock but i'm not gonna i don't know if i'm supposed to be saying that or not uh i I don't uh, the whole schedule isn't completely finalized yet so um i'm pretty sure wildcat was a go and that's going to be like two weeks after you know how it is it's like two weeks after wind rock or something we'll be at wildcat um so so yeah uh that's going to be some racing you have also raced at rush with uh with um it's now the american Pro pro rock series or whatever with mid america um uh I always enjoy the bush. Seems like. Yep. Yep. Uh I remember in twenty twenty one, man, you though the hills not not many people were making those hills and it was you and it was very few people that actually made it. <laughs> um to, dude, let's get into that real quick, man. For, first of all, you said you're from Mississippi. Tell tell us where you're from. I'm from South Haven, Mississippi. All right. And, uh, you know, Land of the Delta. Uh, tell us, tell us about home life, man. Are you, you know, married kids, stuff like that? Yeah. I'm not married, but we might as well be married. You know, been together long enough to be married 12 years and got 11 year old and six year old. And, All right. You know, heck it, yeah. It's home. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. Um, I can't be away from it for too long because I, I, I get home sick. Oh yeah, man. Uh, that's another good reason for not racing in Texas. Um, what What does your family think about you racing and and the craziness? I mean, they've got to see you. They've got to see you running. Uh, I don't know. I guess you know they really aren't in, into it. They're too young. Uh, mm-hmm. You know. So, but Sarah, she helps me out all the time. If it wasn't for her, half the time I wouldn't be able to make it to the races. That's so, awesome. She can, take, she can take a part from this buggy and put it back together by herself. Pretty that's much. wild, man. That's cool. That is that's that's cool to have a ride or die like that. 
that's that's very cool i i uh you know you know that i was in the military and stuff and i, I know the importance of uh thanking the uh unsung heroes that are at home uh maybe they don't uh maybe they don't know the buggy back you know front to back like you, yours does but uh you know there's a lot of them that that help get food like we wouldn't drink or eat if it wasn't uh for for these folks so um i always give a, a thank you uh, i don't know if she's watching or can hear me but but uh i love seeing dc race i love having dc at the races man and and to hear that you know you are a part of, of getting him there uh i'm thankful for that so i always I always try to give the, give thanks for those that are at home uh, okay good deal good deal um so how the heck did you get into off-road racing man like what what is what was you doing as a kid uh, (laughs) ride bmx bikes man okay you know just raising hell okay well (laughs) hey uh man i got into off-road just because i was tired of being broke off from my bmx bike you know like I couldn't walk half the time. I broke everything you could think about breaking. Uh, twice, <laughs> things like. Uh, I was getting to where I was just, man, could barely get around. So I, you know, just went to something with a cage. Okay. So you went straight to off road racing? There was no. Uh... You know, uh, just wheeling type of thing, or you, you know, yeah. going out with the UTVs with your buddies. I bought well, I, not really. I bought a Can Am Maverick, my first UTV, in 2013, and it sucked. And then the the next one I got was a Razor, and it went to the race. So, you know, I did do some trail riding racing with the same buggy though. So, we did a bunch of wind rock trips. Uh, very How far away is Wind, Wind Rock again? It was that. How far away was Wind Rock again? Wind Rock six hours. That's a good haul. I mean, uh, yeah, day, day of driving, home, huh? Uh, yeah. I was coming home from Wind Rock, you know, all downhill, and it, you get your outer back. And yep. so good call. It's good call. Uh, so what what was your first official race? What was your first race? Uh, hmm. I, I think I guess it was uh with Joey and Trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Where at? Do you remember? Barnyard mud buggers. Man, oh oh, we got some barnyard mud buggers. Uh, Andy, uh, Andy Bailey checking in. We got a bunch of folks, man. I just turned the freaking comments on. It's blowing up. Uh, let's see. I about killed myself at that race. <laughs> Did you? Mark Isle says, yep. uh, music still playing. Hello, sir. You do an awesome job. Can't hear DC. Uh, all right. Everybody at home, if, if you can, just let me know if you can hear DC all right. I've, I've got his volume turned all the way up. I got the music down. Uh, let me know if you can hear. Have you been able to hear me the whole time? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Somebody said real quick that they couldn't hear you, but they were the only one. Uh, Miss Taylor Guile says, let's freaking go. Welcome to the Reject family, DC. Delta Drone Works in the house. Sorry I'm late. Can't wait to see that new bouncer class line up. Uh, John John Russell says, "Get married, tax break." <laughs> uh, trip Trip says, "Sardi Lakes Bottoms." Is that where you guys raced first? He said he won. He won though. Shit. Trip, trip, trip won his mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, John Russell says, "I can hear him since the wife isn't yelling." at me or the dogs okay well john i'm i'm grateful that you're not getting yelled at right now uh okay justin says he can hear you now okay good deal justin wills checking in uh justin you know rookie of the year last year uh 
we can't really count that one run that you had at at Winrock. So as far as I'm concerned, you're be, you're going to be a rookie next year. Is that is that right? Me? Yeah. What do you mean? You're going to be a rookie and a bouncer. Oh yeah, pretty much. I mean, I've dri- I've driven a bouncer three times right. up three different hills. Yeah. And so it really don't count. I've been in I've been in one a total of probably five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're a rookie. One of the steering wheel come off. One of the steering wheel, I hit the hill and when I did the steering wheel come off, <laughs> I was mad at the floor. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, oh, uh, who, who's buggy was that? That was uh, who. Who's the old announcer for Clyde? Uh, oh, I went blank. Uh, no. Oh. Not Dave, right? No, 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 it's before Zach. Zach, Zach kind of come along while he's oh. Uh, Skinny says, ma- make sure the gas pedal holds. <laughs> yeah, right. I had an, another opportunity to drive a bouncer. And oh, Jeremy Blass at one of Joey and Trips races. I think it was Race to Richard. And I hit the gas off the line and the gas pedal just broke off. Is that, is that what he's talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, was, it, it really didn't break off. Jeremy just had to hit the gas pedal hard enough all season long to make it fall off because he didn't even have the set screw set. So he, I guess he was just baby pushing it. And I stopped it and it just come apart. He said, Trip says it was Rush. What? It, it was, uh, that was that Rush, what you're talking about? Yeah. It, yeah, it was that Rush, yeah. yeah. Okay. Skinny says, it was, uh, right. Skinny says, quit mumbling. I ain't mumbling. Yeah. Uh, Robert Trainer says, will DC be racing both classes now? That's a good question. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best. Um, yeah, Let, it, I can't give up. I can't give up on the UTV, man. That's my that's mine. Well, I I, I totally agree. And that machine you got behind you there. I mean, let's talk about uh, how you did this year. Uh, you stood on the podium a few times. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Seem seem like uh, the year was okay. I think it could have been better. You know, the buggy did give me fits half the year. And, uh, it started Memorial Day while we were out at Mid America Memorial Day. And it started missing, popping, spitting, sputtering. And I, it did it for most of the season until the last final race. Uh, but I found out what was causing it. So, yep. I think I, yeah. I think I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Uh, then wastegate getting the wastegate arm plate or whatever you want to call it was getting stuck on the uh, exhaust plane internally. Yeah. The wastegate flapper was getting stuck. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I I always like to use this as a platform for folks out there who might be watching that might be able to help. Um, if you have a business and. And are able to and would like to pay, you know, for uh, a driver like DC, uh, simple things like paying his entry fees, uh, giving him, you know, a a gas card or, or, you know, even a a Visa gift card or something that he can use um, to fill up at $5 a gallon. You got a diesel truck now, right? Yeah. Right. Right. You know, these guys sacrifice a lot. Say again. You couldn't make you couldn't make the races without a diesel truck. I don't think you're not pulling, you know, you not pulling weight. Yeah, you'd use more you'd use more gas. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, but yeah, if anybody's out there, you know, listening that would like to help me out with some entry fees, I'd be more than happy to accept. But yep. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's gonna be rough trying to race both boats for sure. You know, I the way that I look at it is. <clears throat> um, for you guys watching at home, even even if you don't have a business, um, <clears throat> but maybe you just would like to give to the sport a little bit, uh, you know, the live feed that, that Clyde provides is not uh, pay-per-view. Um, 
to the entry fees to get into the races if you actually you know if you do go are, are pretty minimal if you think about uh, uh, if you think about what it costs to go to like an NFL game or freaking Disney World you know um, so again if, if you have a spare hundred bucks even I don't I don't know whatever and you want to give to these drivers uh, I know that um, you know DC and and those guys would would put your name on the side of the buggy or, or give you shouts out or, or whatever uh, whatever needs to be um, I know these guys love to race they love the sport and they sacrifice a lot uh, to to get to the races you know and, and any help any help that you want to give them uh, you come to me if you don't get in, in touch with DC directly you come to me and I'll get you in touch with them so um, trip Pullen says who has entry fees well the National Rock Racing Association does for sure trip uh, yeah. Yeah. and um, what is it for bouncer 250 for bouncer 275 yeah yeah I think so about that so it's about, it's so 275, 175 for cup class, and then 300 for bounty. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of money. Yep. That's a thousand bucks. Yep. And some of these and sometimes they have three races a month. Yep. Well, yeah, the National Rock Racing Association. You know, you, you'll have two two races a month is uh, ten ten total. So you're talking about you know you just named off about a thousand dollars right there, right? So. That's right. that's a, about a ten thousand dollar bill. Uh, I don't know if that really exists or not, but you know it, it's a ten thousand. It's ten thousand bucks at the end of the year. You know, just on entry right. fees. <laughs> um, uh, someone named Facebook user says, "I will give him gas money, but twenty bucks won't get him far." <laughs> um, Michael no. Michael Lockridge says, "One hundred fifty entry fee this weekend for bouncers at Indian Mountain ATV Park." Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could make it. I, was, I wanted to go. I want to go. Uh, but we got a lot of work to do. And I, I got some work to do to my racing buggy here. It's still broke from uh, finals. Yeah. Uh, so I need some transmission parts and a, some diff parts. Yeah, let's let's talk about that real quick. Um, how did how did you I, – I ended up going to dang uh, Mid-America for the day. Yeah. Uh, to film the short course racing, but what did you guys end up doing for a fourth hill in the bounty class? Nothing. So you only did three hills? Nobody did. I only did three. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, I got to plug up my phone. It's got three percent. Yeah, plug it so in. So might be shaking a little bit. Yeah, hey, plug it in. Um, Mr. Andy Bailey. Yeah, we only run. Three, we only run three hills. Uh. Yeah. I think Jason put a couple thousand dollars on the hill to hit Nasty Girl, yep. but, you know, my razor was broke, so I couldn't hit it if I wanted to. Okay. Okay. But I wanted to. Um, Mr. Andy Bailey from Take It to the Top says, so are you looking for parts or money? Um, I'm... I'm looking for some entry fee money, but I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I've really got the parts deal covered for the most part. Uh, some traveling expense and some entry fee money would really help. Yep. And I mean, hey, the, uh, again, uh, I really try to go to the bat for these guys. You know, I, I see DC, dude. And let me tell you something. He When he travels in, you know, uh, he he's not staying in a Holiday Inn Express, y'all. You know, DC for a lot of time is sleeps in the truck, sleeps in the trailer. Probably, you know, possibly in, unless there's uh, facilities at at the races, you know, probably going days without a shower. You know, these guys sacrifice a lot more than just their time and money, man. And, and uh, I, for one, am so grateful for this sport. You know, um, and I, you know, you know. Uh, financially, if I could get more, I definitely would. <laughs> I got sick at finals. It was cold. Yeah. I, I was shivering in the back of the bed the day of back seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll go to the next one. It's sore, but it's part of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do it. Yeah. 
and they I mean they love it man I, I don't I don't ever hear any complaining uh, but uh, uh, <laughs> just Justin will says I need to put a pink dig a deeper sticker on there <laughs> why Justin you gonna yeah. you gonna be sponsoring his new buggy digging deeper so we're gonna do that we're gonna keep the bush wrap on it you know, boy, you know, this Ryan's buggy, he wants to, he wants to be able to, if he wants to, be able to just go to the store in it. So we got some things to do to it to get it ready. You know, needs a couple coolers on it for the steering and needs a new radiator. Uh, he's going through the motor and then he don't want nobody touching his $40,000 motor, he said. So he's going to take it over there and get it, get it freshened up. And uh, we're going to take it apart. He's going to bring it over to me. I'm going to take it apart, get it powder coated, and uh, get a new wrap put on it, redo the wiring, and uh, start slapping her back together. Like I said, we, we got till the 1st of March. So, that I mean, depending on the motor, uh, are you pretty confident you can get all that done? Yeah, pretty sure. Um, all right, I got some. I, I, hear, I hear they're a lot easier to work on, but I don't know because I ain't ever worked on one. So, <laughs> but everybody says they're a lot easier than a racer and everything. So, uh, <clears throat> Shelby St. Clair checking in. He says I missed it. Who's big bouncer? Is he gonna drive? Uh, I'll let you tell him. DC. Oh, Mr. Ryan Boyd. That's right. That's right. No, well, the, what they call it? The, noisy the one. Silent one. Noisy. This, noisy one. Silent. He said silent one. Uh, quiet. Quiet one. Quiet. Quiet one. one. That's right. It ain't quiet yeah. though, man. <laughs> that, that big block is not quiet. Not by any means. <laughs> I asked him today. I said, "Why did you name it the quiet one?" He said, "Because I just like sitting over there and watching, watching everybody." And, listening to him and i just sit over quiet yeah well he he is quiet like that ryan is uh yeah yeah for sure ryan and wes were both the ones that i didn't even bother going and trying to interview man because i just knew that they weren't gonna say anything anyway uh so wade wade used to be like that too wade good uh used to be like that too until he started winning and and I was like, dude, you you, you got to be able to talk in front of a camera, man. You know. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. Yeah, you are. You're doing just fine. Um, I did a couple. I did a couple of videos for you today, right? That I was going to send to you. Yep. Uh, every one of them, I just I couldn't. I cussed like a storm. I said, like, "Well, I can't send that one." <coughs> I can I can cut those out. I'll put the little beeps in. <laughs> Hey, uh, real quick here. David Maddox says radioactive designs will pay his way in one race. So, David, uh, if you are serious about that, sir, please get in touch with DC. Uh, he's on Facebook, DC Thompson. Is that pretty much yeah. okay? Uh, yeah. If that doesn't, yeah, I know, Dave. Yeah. if he doesn't answer you there, get with me and I'll get with you, David. But thank you very much, man. That that's awesome, and that, that's yeah. what it's all about. Thank you. Um, yes, sir. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Andy, Andy Bailey fun. says, I got some click it and flip it stickers for you. <laughs> uh, flip it, flip it. Yeah. Hey, I don't flip. I don't flip off. No, no, no. Transmissions and front diffs seem to be yeah. your uh, Achilles heel. No. Maybe going the wrong way or getting lost, maybe every once in a while. Well, hey, so I, I I wanted to talk to you about that first of all because I was like, man, if DC if this is gonna be anything like DC at the races, then he's gonna be late. So I was anticipating you being late anyway. <laughs> what I have a story from you from Winrock, dude, from back in like twenty twenty one maybe, where you and a buddy of yours, I can't remember his name. Uh, worked on the damn oh. bouncer on the razor in the trailer while you were driving down the road. I mean, yeah, that's probably the wildest story that I've told on this show. Period. We, 
we thought that was a good idea, but yeah, I, I spent most of the time in that trailer over the little hole that I had cut in the floor. So when I was locked in it, I could peek out that little hole. I was hovering over that hole because I was so nauseous. <laughs> and you got to have you got Zach Garner driving at eighty plus miles an hour, and it was not fun. How that, how much had to get done? Like it was coming apart. Uh, I had some wiring to finish up and uh, had to put a skid plate on. Uh, then just, you know, everything was just kind of slapped together real quick to make it and nothing was tight. So we had to go over everything, tighten everything up. Uh, but it, was, it was a little bit. It took us, we were back there for about four hours. What, what's your buddy's name that was with you there? Austin. Austin. All right. Well, we got to give Austin a shout out, man, because I've seen him at the races before, and he helps you out a lot. I, I can tell he's a, you know, good, good friend. Yeah, he's all right. Hell yeah, I would go that far. <laughs> he's all right. Okay. Well, uh, if he rode in that trailer with you and and dang helped you get to the races, man, that that's uh, you know, that's good enough for me. Yeah, Austin's a good guy, man. He's he, I've been knowing him since he was probably six years old, man. He was a little bit guy. Yeah, that's cool. He's, he's a little bit younger than I am, but so from the BMX riding days, you know, I had I always had your little guys, you know, your your buddies, yep. though. Yep. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about uh, let's talk about going into twenty twenty three and and kind of um, you know what's your plan as far as what series are you going to be following? Um, and, uh, you know, obviously with the, the big bouncer and, and the little bounce and the little bouncer now, you know, we're, we're talking about, uh, you know, trying to get you, get you guys help. Obviously, you know, um, what's, uh, what's 2023 going to look like? Mm. I couldn't tell you it. It's, it's all going to be new to me. I'm just going to take it day by day, you know? Heck yeah, man. That's all I can do. Yeah. That's all I can do. Yep. Well, uh, so, try to make sure everything's good to go. Try, you know, maybe before the race starts. And then, uh, <coughs> yeah. That's all I can do. Facebook user says Justin Wills Boys. Who who are who is Facebook user? That's all it's coming up. Why is it only coming up Facebook user? Some secret uh, secret admirer we have watching with us. Um, probably probably my old profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be. Um, let's see. What else do I got, man? Am I missing anything, DC? What am I missing? Man, I don't know. Hey, probably a lot. Who's uh, who? Who can you thank? You got any sponsors or anybody that helps you get to these races and do what you do? Uh, yeah, I got I got uh, a couple people. I like to thank Ross Pilgrim. He helps me out more than he knows. Uh, you know, Alan W. Fab keeps me. They keep my suspension game on point. If I got any problems with my suspension or. Which I have had a lot, and uh, so they they got me back in pretty quick. Uh, Thomas Floor, he's built me. I don't know how many drive shafts this year, yeah, like six or seven. Uh, well, uh, yeah, quick turnaround. Like I can call him up. Hey, I need a drive shaft. He he's got him at Mid America waiting for me. You know, the next day. So. Uh, appreciate him a lot. The uh, DW performance, uh, performance side by side bushings. James Shelley always helped me out pretty good. Uh, it goes along with the suspension. LW sent me something. My my next call is James. So Thomas is watching. Uh, he sends you some kisses. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. Uh, you know. It takes it takes a whole team to make everything go around, pretty much, you know. <clears throat> uh, 
I need some more fun. I need cryo heat to come on board with some transmission parts. <laughs> cryo heat. Uh, I know cryo heat watches the show. They keep up. Yeah. Uh, yes. You know, FCR. Down, down the shock in for me. Sometimes. Sometimes I do it by myself. But yeah, I mean, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad I didn't have to remind you of that. Yeah, and everybody else is just you know everybody pitches in. I don't like to thank the dang uh uh we blank again. Madison King and Nathan Wolf or Nathan King, uh, their parents they helped me a lot at uh, finals for sure. Cool. Yeah, they're very they're Nathan's dad. Nathan's dad helped me tear down the whole buggy, you know? Yeah. Put it back together. Yeah. In, in the trailer in the middle of the night, too, right? I mean, yeah. 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 His wife fed, fed, fed me, brought me coffee cup in the morning time. I was like, hey, I couldn't do no better. Right. That's awesome, man. Yeah, they're, uh, they're good for the sport. Yeah. I'm glad that they're yeah. uh, I'm glad that they're with us. Um, Madison's kicking our ass. No joke, dude. No joke. Uh, Brady Brady Cole says, "I can't believe you actually got him to answer the phone. He always hits the f u button on me." <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and because I'm broke, Brady. <laughs> uh, Mr. Andy Bailey says, "I will see about getting some sponsorship for the entry fees, but I need figures of how much it's going to cost and how many races." So. Andy, either get with DC uh, on his Facebook account and message him or message me. Uh, I'll try to help out as much as, as, much as I can. Um, I, I sure do appreciate that. Andy Bailey, uh, take it to the top, man. If <clears throat> if you were watching Rock Bouncing on YouTube when it first started back in 2011, 2012, maybe even before that, uh, take it to the top was the on the hill of back then. Um Andy, uh, Andy doing some video producing of his own and, uh, back when it was a lot more difficult when doing a live show, like we're doing right now was, was pretty much only yeah. for TV stations, you know? So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I get, get with, I'll get, I'll get with you, Andy. I'll get you some numbers for it. Okay. Right. Good deal. Uh, Miss Jody Powell says, what about Dan Carter racing? Um, is uh, yeah, Jody. Jody's always taking care of me. Yep. Heck, I couldn't. Yeah. She. Yep. She's. Uh, she's one of those that you know, like I was saying earlier, thanking the ones that are, that are at home. You know, Jody is one of those that <clears throat> will stop me and say, "Have you eaten anything? Or when was the last time you drank a bottle of water, <laughs> or something like that?" So, yep. uh, yeah, them them taking care of us is is means so much, man. I, I can't. Uh, uh, I can't express it, but well, that's. Well, we all kind of take care of each other a little bit. Oh, our own yeah. Way. Oh, definitely, definitely. You talk about being sick, man. I, I got sick as as all get out at uh, Rush Springs Ranch, and if it wasn't for uh, um, uh, Jack Porter, I, I wouldn't have survived, man. He he took care of me totally. <laughs> so hey, Jack, Jack woke me up at final, beat on the window, brought me breakfast. Yep. They brought me a whole plate of eggs and potatoes and stuff, and he's like, "Here, you 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 want some breakfast?" Yep. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Yep. That's, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, I love that stuff, man. I didn't, know Jack, I didn't know Jack liked me like that, man. He brought me breakfast. Yeah, man, talking about all this has got me excited about 2023, man, and I'm even more excited now that we're going to see DC Thompson, a big bouncer, uh, the qu the quiet one. Big block, man. You gonna keep the uh, USD stickies on there? I don't want to, but it ain't my buggy, so it's right. At the end of the day, it's still Ryan's buggy. Okay. So okay. That's what he wants to run. That's what we'll run. But I'd rather have some custom stickies on. Uh, Mr. Andy Bailey, uh, taking taking off for the night. Have a great night, sir. Thank you for everything. We'll be in touch. 
Uh, Thanks, bud. Justin Hoback checking in. What did I miss? Whose bouncer is about to get yard sales? <laughs> DC, I'll let you tell them. <laughs> no. Ain't nobody's bouncer getting yard sales. <laughs> uh, uh, Nobody, you're the one that yard sales and breaks you back, but, you know. Too soon? We're going to try to keep it together the best we can. Too soon? <laughs> Uh, now Ryan, Ryan knows what he's getting himself into. Yep. <clears throat> I dare say that he, he, he done gave me the rundown. He's like, now look, you start breaking everything left and right, I mean, you're out of here. <laughs> I mean, you know, okay, that's fine. Man, I tell you what, though, Ryan drives hard too. So, you know, yeah, there's a difference though. 99% of the time I, that I've watched Ryan run, he's on his roof before the end of the run. Is Ryan watching tonight? What do you, what know, do you, got, to, what do you got to say about that, Ryan? <laughs> Tell us in the comments. Yeah. Justin, Justin, says it ain't, Justin says it ain't yard sailed. No, I mean, it's, I could wreck it no more than he has, so. Yeah, very true. Well, that's cool, man. <clears throat> well, listen, uh, I'm excited about next season. You have a ton of work to do, uh, but keep us posted, man. I, I want to keep keep updates. Uh, you know, when you get the wrap on and we get the buggy powder coated and stuff, you know, send us some pictures, send us some video. We, we want to see and keep in touch. And and uh, if I'm hoping that you're ready to go at Wind Rock since we're not going to Texas this year, so. Uh, yeah. you know, I hope you're ready to reveal in, in, in at Windrock. Um, well, we should be. I mean, really, the buggy could run right now if you know if it didn't need a top end or whatever. So it's set for a. It was running when it went to Justin's at Reject, and then it's set for eleven months, and somehow the motor doesn't have compression now. Yeah. So. Uh, don't know how that happens, but it is what it is. Yeah. So Ryan's gonna say he's gonna fix it up, and, and we'll start on the other stuff. But really, it ain't a lot, and just taking parts off and getting a power cut. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Travis Skelton checking in says DC and a bouncer that will be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Um, <laughs> Connie Owen says, you guys are awesome. Don't pay John no mind. I'll get him later. <laughs> Connie, cut him some slack, man. Cut him some slack. John. He, John, John Russell. He was commenting earlier. He uh, he races in the Vin class. What do you, what do you think about that? Uh, all these new little classes. Well, I think it's awesome. Yeah, the, I just, I just listen. We didn't run on Friday. Yeah, I think there'd be way more people there. Yep. So that so you'd recommend running on run, trying to fit everything in on Saturday. <clears throat> oh yeah, if, if for me, I'd have everything running Saturday. So <clears throat> let me ask you this and get your opinion. Uh, at finals, we actually ran two classes at once. You remember we were running like the the bouncers yeah, and the that was, a, that was a cluster. That was a cluster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Hey, we didn't even get on the live feed. None of the side by sides even on the live feed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it was too much, but it had to be done evidently. So, yeah. or if I would have done it that way, whatever, I don't know. But it sucks. Because I'm just thinking, if we are going to fit, I mean, we do three classes on Saturday. Now we have six total, and it takes all day to do. Yeah, but. <clears throat> There's time that we can be, you know, fixed. Uh, and we went to AOP the weekend before finals, and they run like something like a thousand runs. You know, it, or it was it, it was more than a thousand, but it was fifty uh, unlimited buggies twice, fifty stock buggies twice. The kids then barrel racing. And I mean, it, it was a lot of runs. Yeah. And then, heck, we were done. 
you know, way, but they're boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I will say. It ain't me, but. Yeah. I will say with the live feed, there there is a lot of downtime uh, because of the live feed. Uh, recoveries are always, you know, you know, making sure that we have the right recovery people and equipment is is very key. You know, so I just, I just think it would be a whole lot better if there were more people there because it is dwindling. Yeah, and. You know, if it was all on Saturday, who cares if it runs into Saturday afternoon or Saturday dark? Yeah. You know, it doesn't really matter because you got all day Sunday to drive home. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're getting that many more drivers showing up, what, you know, who cares if it runs into dark? Yeah. But the Joe and Chip run all day Saturday yeah. for three years. Yeah. You know, everything runs on Saturday yeah. survival, bouncers, UTV, <clears throat> everything. It can be done. It just, you know. Yeah. Well, it's all that, that's what this show is for, man. It, it, this is a platform for you, for you guys to have a voice. And, and uh, you know, I, I try to stay neutral. I, I, I just let you guys uh, voice your opinions. And um, I, I know that Clyde and, and Joey and Jason Robinette and people that actually run the events, uh, you know, I know that they watch this stuff and, and they hear that. So, um, oh, I, me personally, I know a whole lot more people that would show up if it was on Saturday. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you get there's there's people agreeing with you in the in the uh, in the comments already. Shan, Shanda Haven says I agree, DC. So, yeah, you know, you know. but I, you can, I can't do nothing about it. So. Well, uh, I'm just a little upset. I mean, you you kind of are. So don't say that you you can't. You can't do anything, but uh, saying something about it is is something. So, uh, whether whether promoters decide to do something or not, that's uh, that's on them. But you know, you voicing yeah. your opinion that that's what matters. Um, Dylan Patton, D Pat's photography, checking in says DC my hero. <clears throat> um, Miss Janet Browder, uh, the mother to Justin and Dex Browder to. Uh, racing rock bouncer drivers she says i agree with saturday bouncer count is down <clears throat> D, uh, dylan says agreed all on saturday so you're not the only one man you you've said that you you mentioned that you're not the only one and uh that's pretty obvious so hopefully yeah. hopefully uh you're you all are heard i could bring i could bring my wife and kids if it was on saturday yeah that'd be cool Exactly. You know, yeah. I'm gonna have to ride by myself. Yeah. You gonna make them sleep in the? Y'all gonna sleep in the back seat? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we family. We we race together. We sleep together. We drive together. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe maybe you can get sponsored by a hotel and and uh, you can allow them to sleep in a hotel. Uh, yeah. Hotels are expensive. You sleep in a. <laughs> Sleep in the back yeah, seat camp. in the hotel parking lot. We can, get, we can camp, you know. Oh, yeah. I, actually, I got me one of those dang, uh, what are these things called that you hang up outside, you know. From, a hammock? Uh, what? Yeah, a hammock. Yeah. Heck, yeah. Uh, I bought a good cool one that zips up and it's got a roof over it. Oh, and stuff. yeah. Nice. Heck, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's all right. I was slipping in a couple times this year. Good. Tied to the Tie it to the uh, back of the truck and tie it to the buggy or something. Stripped it on out. Yeah. Yeah. And me, me and Lucy was slept in all week at uh, Vision. How is Lucy? Oh, she's good. She's over there somewhere. She's over sleep. Yeah, I got mine over here. She's passed out. Luke. Luke. Dustin says, DC, you don't sleep anyway. Shit. You sleep more than you think. I sleep while I drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there's old Lucy. Man, I think that's a good way to wrap this up, brother. Having Lucy right there with you and, and the family in the background. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, uh, Dustin says it'd be 3 a.m. in D.C. out on the pit bike. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, because he's trying to source parts, man. He's trying to find parts and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, bolts. 
I rode around. I rode around till two or three o'clock in the morning, and it finals. Man, you got parts. You got That's parts. right. Yeah, I. I uh, you you showed up to the the Lacroix camp with with a. What would you have? It was a a whole uh, manual for uh, something that you had laminated and stuff. What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my, I was I, I was trying to figure out why my buggy was spitting sputtering all year, yeah. and you know, <laughs> I I done changed everything that you could think of to change, yeah. and nothing fixed it. So, you know, it had to be in the wiring. It had to be somewhere. Yeah. So I blew up a wiring diagram, you know, and poster size yeah. and laminated. Yeah. It was pretty epic. It was, it was pretty epic. It was the middle of the night, and and uh, Wade Good was working on something, and and then DC showed up, and and uh, I guess there wasn't enough going on, so he shows up and starts picking everybody's brain with this big old <laughs> this big old map no, looking no. thing. It looked like y'all were going treasure hunting. Yeah, Wyatt Wilson needed it. Okay. For his, okay. he was having wiring problems. Okay. So I brought it to him right. All right, that's what it was. Handed it out. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That Wyatt was there. That's right. We were filming with Wyatt that day. Yeah. Michael. He still got it. He got mad at me at Dyersburg. Yeah. Yeah. I stole his parts. You know, he let me run his parts. And I told him, I said, man, if I, I'm going to go home because I blew my transmission. Yeah. So I'm going to go home and get my bike ready for Bounty Cook, you know, yeah. Bounty Hill. And I'll be back with your parts. But if I don't go home with your parts, I ain't going to be able to get my buggy off the trailer to get it in the garage to fix yeah. it. And yeah, he got mad at me because I didn't show up that night. I showed up the next morning, and I worked all night long on that thing. So yeah. 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 I had to call him to apologize to him. He said my uncle had to call him to apologize to me because I was really ready to knock your block off. <laughs> Why it's a good dude, man. I'm I'm glad you called him. That's good. Oh, Why it's a good dude. I pondered on it for a few days. I was like, man, I know he was mad at me because he wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. So I finally called him up. I was like, man, you mad at me, man? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, damn it, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Michael Garski checking in. It says, why is Windrock listed to 2023 Saturday and Sunday? Uh, I don't know. I was given the dates of the fourth and fifth. I guess I'll double check that. But uh, hey, Michael, Michael's a good dude too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for those of y'all that are watching and don't know, Michael films for Mad Ram Eleven. You'll see him out there a lot of times. He's you can't miss him. He's the guy with the longest beard. Uh, you know, in at the park, probably in a fifty or hundred mile radius. Hey, I got the most trophies I had, I got see this year. Let's see him. Yeah. What's that big one down there? Yeah. On the left there. It's uh, oh, a yeah. yeah. back backyard mud fest first place at the Mississippi Mud Slangers. Yeah. Would you win? Uh, yeah, the short course. Would you win at finals this year? Uh. I think I got fourth in cup and third in bounty. Okay. I got beaten by a girl. <laughs> hey, she's a mad dog though, man. You gotta give her credit. She she does she I I love it. It's awesome. Th- those those hills are no joke, man. Those, those last couple of hills, wow. you know. Hey, I've been hitting hills for a while now and I was pulled up to I was like, man, this is gonna suck. Yeah. Especially after seeing Dan flip off of it. I was it. I'm just like, about to say, man. Yeah, Lee. Dan's wreck was yeah. They're talking about putting a putting the buggy up on a damn post now because it's just junk now. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it twisted it. Landed on the corner yeah, like that. Yeah, but you know, Dan's wrecked that buggy a lot, so it's probably been twisted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's anything like Brian. It's twisted. Yeah. It's built well though. It was. It's a well built buggy. Yeah. Well, unless you got anything well, else, brother, I'm gonna let you go. 
No, just thanks, you know, everybody that watches, supports, and helps. And see y'all next week. Yeah. Don't forget, uh, we got to get in touch with Andy Bailey. Uh, I need to write that down. On, out there, yeah. yeah, on Facebook. And David Maddox. And David Maddox. Andy Bailey and David Maddox. We appreciate yeah, you guys watching, great. man, and, and helping yeah. him out. I, I hope we can uh, get a little relief for DC here. We'll hey, find I wish we could do do more for everybody else. You know. Yeah, I, I agree. I trust me. I, it keeps me. Hey, up God, there's, there's a few of us that ain't that ain't in half million dollar motorhomes. You know. Yep. Yep. So I seen that the other day. Oh, Cheryl posted that her, their motorhome up five hundred twenty-five thousand. Really? I thought it was more than that. Like, I thought it was six twenty-five. Well, yeah. it may have been. I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure it's in it, the sixes. I was, I was blown away. Like, holy crap! Yeah. yeah, that's a real deal machine, man. Yeah. Well, this is a nice rig. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, all right, man. Well, yeah. see y'all later. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on. I really do. And uh, keep us posted, all right? All right, Nick. Appreciate it. All Bye. Right. See you. DC Thompson, y'all. Well, that's about it for me as well. Uh, I am going to be back live tomorrow, though. Uh, DC talked about the side by uh, southeastern side by side. I'm going to butcher it. Anyway, uh, there is an event at Indian Mountain this weekend. Uh, there's going to be some bouncers racing, going to be some UTV uh, hill killing stuff going on. So we're going to have those guys on to talk about the uh, to talk about everything. And um, so that'll be on at the same time tomorrow night. It is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or uh, 6 p.m. Central Time. So come back, join us, come hang out. It's going to be a good time. And uh, uh, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all soon.